What it do, Diddy Nation? What's up to every single body at home watching this video? What it do, baby? What it do? It's been a minute, guys. We're back. We're back again for another video. As you can see, today we are really gonna make the dishes dirty. But unfortunately, Kiji is gonna be the only one to watch them. Because we're gonna, we're gonna run away. I mean, sure. Yeah, you mentioned <laughs> Today, as you guys can see, we are doing a mukbang or our version of a mukbang. Some of you guys have seen your mukbangs, eh? And they put pressure, eh? Yeah, you guys, don't judge us. Don't judge us. This is our sea boil. The sea boil. The sea boil. Okay? We, we did our, our mukbang. Yeah. Also, is it a mukbang or mukbang? I'd rather say mukbang than mukbang. <laughs> <laughs> so I'ma choose mukbang. You know? All right, so yeah, we're doing a mukbang. Muk also, mukbang. Like, like after so long, this is our first mukbang. Like a lot of YouTubers is the first yeah. I mean, I mean, it took us three years to do a mukbang. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we are so we are so people. nervous. How do we start? God bless our food before yeah, we eat. Yeah, In Jesus' yeah. name, we pray. Amen. 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 I'm gonna start with this very big wing over here. So first of all, guys, I just wanna say, uh, this is not an argument, and I'm not trying to pick a fight with anyone. But KFC dumplings are better than chicken bacon. <laughs> mm. But it's not the same thing. Look, that's not fair. This is about chicken, the same. Well, chicken wings, no. These are dumb. Yeah, the other ones. Kada and vana. But tell this all day. Who said they mustn't dunk their wings? <laughs> it's their choice. They care. Yeah, to compare Zinga and KFC I and mean, chicken bacon wings. Zinga is still better than chicken bacon. Okay, thanks. Mm, but chicken bacon is overrated. Mm. But sometimes you will to that twice. Sometimes. That's all. Especially after a hangover. You need maybe, something salty. Okay, maybe after a hangover. Yes. After a hangover, it doesn't make sense. <laughs> but in a way, yeah, yeah. I'd rather go to Fauzi. Fauzi wings. Apparently, mm. I fuzzy wings is not chicken. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That is exactly where I was going to touch. I was gonna touch the subject. <clears throat> Barry, fuzzy wings. Fuzzy's chicken wings are not chickens. Count <laughs> the number of bones. <laughs> <laughs> that you get from fuzzy wings. Yeah. So, Uncle Fuzzy, if you ever see this video, now, we're not throwing shade at your, sh at your <laughs> shop. We're just saying count just the number of me, me, I go to your shop, you eat see, your I, I eat your food. But we are just saying what people are telling you. We are gathering this. <laughs> but when I come to your shop, I'm, I'm coming for the wrap. <laughs> Everything has the chips. Everything that looks bigger than a pigeon. Because <laughs> <laughs> now as we heard of Uncle Fuzzy, they are chicken wings, are pigeon wings. Yes. And someone said, ah, but pigeons are nice. I'm like, away. But have you, you seen the, have you seen the Hatfield pigeons? Hatfield <laughs> <laughs> pigeons are The Hatfield pigeons, yeah. those ones will make you sick, bro. I'm telling you. Yeah. I mean, if you're a city person, if you grew up in the city, pigeons is not a... I mean, we used to call them the rest of the skies at some point in high school. Hmm, we used to call them the rest of the skies. Do you want to eat that? In Hatfield, they have taken the jobs of the actual rat. <laughs> they are always on the ground. No, notice, notice how there's no like, there's not like a lot of. Okay, they, no, there are huge roaches. On, roaches or rats? Ra oh yeah, rats. Rats are getting rare in Hatfield. Yeah, they only they know where to stay. They stay in the in the shrubs along Burnett Street. That's where they stay. They don't go anywhere else because yeah, they know the are pigeons rats. will fight them. The no rats anywhere else but Burnett Street. Mm. Yeah, so them at night. Pigeons, they don't even run, they don't even fly away though. They're just chilling. They come and fetch you. Once a pigeon knocked my phone out of my hand, I saw oh. mm. it came and just went boom on my phone and I was just like, <laughs> I was so shocked. Sure. The pigeons have to have like one leg, two toes, one one had a stub, like it didn't have toes. Mm. Like, Those niggas have been through shit. Mm. Talking about pigeons, I don't know why we're talking about pigeons, but I remember this post saying that, um, how come you've never seen a baby pigeon? <laughs> have you seen a pigeon nest? Have you seen a baby pigeon? Those things are being trained as I'm ever. That's what I'm saying. They just keep in track. But do those, yeah. do those things migrate? Yes. Do they change things? <laughs> <laughs> no, have you ever seen, have you ever seen those? Those things are so lazy, though. <laughs> 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 
Okay, but the okay. truth, because I've seen the same pigeon for the past five years. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, every season, there's that one pigeon. Okay, it's a pigeon that doesn't have three. <laughs> Guys, I get a bird. Birds have three toes. It's a three or four. I mean, I'm It's like this. Right? Mm, yeah. I've seen this there's a one pigeon on the, the left leg. It doesn't have toes, it's like a stub. Right? That pigeon yeah. I've seen it every single year. Also, we didn't tell you guys what we're eating, because usually mukbangs they tell you what they eat before they eat. You see, we're amateurs. Yeah, we don't know these things. We're, we're just making the dishes dirty. Yes. But this is simple. Pizza, chips, wings, done. Hey. Me, I love food, man. If you guys are in Pretoria and you know places where they, they sell good street food. Whatever type of food, please comment in our comments and also DM us if you want us not to miss your comment. It's not that we get like a, a thousand comments. We want to see every single comment anyway. May I ask though, in SA, what do we consider street food? Because now I don't consider what we call street food in SA street food. Don't forget that in America, street food is burritos. Street food is nachos, mm-hmm. quesadillas. I know I'm naming only Mexican food. And I was about to ask. And here in South Africa, when you buy a quesadilla or a burrito or a wrap or what, you go to a restaurant and you sit down and you pay a tip. It's not street food. So, so what's our street food by culture, by South African culture? We don't have because I know street food. I know pop and play. Yeah. Yeah. That's our street food. So I, I hear what you're saying. I just realized people are gonna say how I eat. Yo, and I'm just not cute. No, I'm not. I was going in. Do you guys think like food is changing over time, like the taste of any any ah, products? For days, let me tell you. <laughs> guys, in South Africa, we are being played. Yeah. Let me tell you. Let's start with Coca Cola, your favorite soda company. Coca Cola was told one day, yeah. Mm-hmm. That you guys, you must decrease the sugar, otherwise, we are raising mm-hmm. the sugar tax. Mm-hmm. Coca Cola was like, you got it. What did they go and do? They, they created change. the body cokes. They changed the packaging. They changed the packaging. So, technically, they're selling you the same coke with the same amount of sugar, but in a lesser amount. Like the quantity is lower. Technically, the two liters is not more two liters. I think. Mm. Guys, it's one point eight. They've given you one point nine liters. How else were they gonna do it without changing the uh, the Coke's formula? To actually take out the sugar. sugar. You, but then that changes Coke's formula. No. Uh, one less teaspoon of sugar. But let's be honest. Coke's tea. formula has has changed in any case. Fanta is not the real Fanta. Unless you bite in a glass thing. bottle in the middle of a village. Fanta. Then you'll get the normal Fanta. Change, yeah. Fanta in a plastic bottle, yeah. That's sexy Fanta bottle. And of course it's weaker. Thank you. Yeah, you're right. The orange finishes quicker now. Ah, it's weaker. It finishes quicker. It's already diluted. Thank you. Now, let me give you another Zambak. Zambak is not food, right? Someone mm. I, I'm not likely to pressure mm. The Zambak is smaller. Big facts. Now, Pringles, a lot of you guys have probably seen Pringles now. Pringles has released a new brand, branding, logo, whatever, right? But what they also introduced along with the new logo is a smaller box. I was so shook at the garage I saw it and I'm like, hmm, is the package- packaging smaller just so that it's more maneuverable? No. I look at the grams at the bottom. Yeah. The normal one is 110 grams. Yeah. The new one is 100 grams. So they took out 10 grams <laughs> of perfectly good Pringles and they made it the same price. Yo. The disappointment bra, that I had this week is this good first date material. Like for me, I see this as a good Netflix marathon. Minus movie. the chips. No. Keep Minus everything. The chips. Minus the chips. What's wrong with chips? They get cold. Yeah. So because they get cold, they're not romantic. You know, you know, you know very well that hot chips and cold chips is two different things. You don't eat McDonald's chips after they've gone cold. You but don't even try to reheat them. <laughs> McDonald's chips, once you put them in the fridge, please take them back to the shop. There's no use. In the fridge, why would you put them in the fridge? Ask the people if there's a Let them go cold is the, is the first mistake. So even mm. if they're in the microwave. No, my, my, my McDonald's chips, once you put them in the fridge, and the, you need to eat your chips on your way to your rest. That's why people attend the chips first. Mm. Every single time. While going, before they get to the house, the chips are done. Mm. Because once the chips do this, 
I could get it, throw them away. Where would you watch Netflix as the first time encounter with someone in your house? Why, why are you watching Netflix on the first date? Yeah. I don't know. It's like Netflix you just is not say the first this date. is the first date. Did I say first Call date? Yes, yes, that's what yeah. you okay, said. Okay, I think I check my message. <laughs> <laughs> Netflix is not for first dates, trust me. Mm-hmm. First date, you need to make him, <coughs> make him talk so you can hear what rubbish is in his mind. You know what I'm saying? Netflix, you are both quiet. You won't know why, what kind of a guy you are. You are not interacting with him. You are watching a movie, and then after th- after that, you are gonna make certain decisions that may change your life forever. And do you change your life with the mumish, with the muhu? I'm fine. And people catch L's with relationships, dog. Mm. Ah, I've seen people catch L's, and it's so silly. Mm. <laughs> how do you, how do people end up with the men? Okay, maybe the men are the problem. Maybe rather rather instead of addressing the woman and saying stop catching these type of men. Maybe it's rather better to say, what's going on with niggas? Why are niggas so whack? In what sense? Because there's a lot of areas where we are whack, right? Dude, example, dog, I saw a video either last week or something like that. Some nigga got, some, some nigga's ex didn't want to see him and he decided that he's going to everybody's life and just start crashing into people in restaurants. I told you, I told you so. I knew he's going to go in again. He's going in again. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! I wonder how much that restaurant lost. No, that's stupid. Lost? Why did the restaurant Maybe they gained. I like I like ages. I like Angel's mentality. Why did we lose? Why am I losing? Why am I? <laughs> that guy must Why give. You to no, the building? No. That guy must give his car in my shop. I'm selling it. Shop. Don't give me your ID number. Yeah, leave, leave your car here. Yeah, leave your car. Please. I'm selling your car. For this. Guys, just 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 a brief pause. When you eat wings, this is how you eat a wing. You take out the two bones, and then mm. you have a very perfectly dunked chicken nugget. So much wing. And it's not processed. It's a real thing. Anyway, continue. <laughs> because we can't access your your ex wife ex girlfriend, you're gonna drive into a restaurant, dog. It will get that in. Mm. But also, then again, you're talking to the same people who searched on Google how to beat my wife without, without anyone them. finding out. That's those are loser tendencies, dog. Yeah. Why was that the most searched thing in 2020? So you guys think it's the most searched thing? Exactly! In South Africa or in the world? In... No, no. Not, was it not US? Mm-mm, it's world by world? my... by my... Because it was Google's just... Mm-hmm. It's world by my... by my understanding. It's a meditative decision. Yeah. Like, you go and you search this thing, so you want to hurt another So you, you physically and mentally yeah. Yeah. invest yourself into this act. How safe do people think Google is? <laughs> I'm so scared to search things on Google. I'm one of those paranoid people that think, you know, I have the FBI is gonna search my Google account and everything will be there. You don't search Google. Now listen to me. The certain things I'm so scared to search, man. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How to make a bomb. Mm-hmm. Literally, it's for a science experiment. Mm-hmm. But I can't search that. This just clearly shows that a lot of the times when we think that gender-based violence is caused by alcohol, which yes, is true, or caused by a guy just snapping and he it's has... It's made worse, not has, cause. I don't think it's the cause. Well, yes, 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 yeah. yes, 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 yeah. I think cool. that's where we... Yeah, yeah really. we mix the thing, yes, okay, mm-hmm. cool. But, most of the time, since this is the most searched, what, the most searched mm-hmm. thing on Google in 2020, this means that a lot of the incidents we saw last year was things that people did on purpose. There is no point in believing a nigga now when he says, I didn't do it. I, I didn't know what I was doing. There is absolutely no point. There's no point of, 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 you see now, everything that women have been saying, shame, like, and, and, and. I mean, even before the search, there was no point in believing that he didn't know what he was doing. So you never ran the scenario in your head that it might be, what if it's one of my niggas? That what? That like a beat or rape? No, that if he did it, he did it. It's not like, I'm not gonna believe you saying I didn't know what I was doing. What? Okay, not not I didn't know what I was doing. What if he says, no, I didn't do it? You must, you must, okay, wait, wait. In my head, I've actually sided with the woman more often than Yeah, I think you kind of have to. <laughs> because, 
I've also reasoned with myself that I've spoken to you guys. I've spoken to you guys about, like, we've had these conversations. We've actually discussed what could trigger you into beating um, somebody and what, or what could be the closest trigger into touching or beating a woman. What is it? Oh, I mean, say. we have, we have, right, two years ago. Mm. What is it in 2021 today? What is it? A trigger mm. that could have you. Yeah, nothing. What's a good enough trigger to beat a woman in the no, isn't, but we're talking about things that are conflict. Guys, we're individuals. And as much as there's not a good enough reason, people that don't know how to control the exactly. People don't know how to control so the emotions. You control your enough. emotions and your mm. triggers. Why do I even have a trigger? Huh? I wouldn't mm. be a person you're human being. That's a trigger. Yes! Guys, do you know what a trigger does? <laughs> a trigger <laughs> blows off a gun. I get you, that's what I'm saying. A yeah. trigger that will make can you be controlled. But people shouldn't have to have triggers in their lives. I think mental control is a very important thing. Mm. You shouldn't have to have a trigger. Why are you being triggered? Why are you allowing yourself? Mm. Why are you allowing yourself to you have get emotions? To that you are you are going to get angry. You understand? Some and there's ways to deal angry. with anger. Yes, well, that's what we were talking about. That's where we're and, going. And, and, and if you get angry like that, it shouldn't be called a trigger. You just don't have control over yourself, your mind, your emotions. Mm. Mm. You get Help something to the trigger. The same person you made vows to years ago, saying you love and what, 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 sickness and health, and you beat them without thinking about those vows oh, that you. People beat people they love. Yeah. Is that a trigger? Really, really, really. Then you just clean your tongue tongue chow for the last week. Out of what? Three. Chow. <laughs> <laughs> I do, th- I do still think there are people who have um, dark thoughts and, and take pleasure in, in certain acts. How do you teach a kid not to touch a woman? Uh, not to beat a woman. Uh, what do you say? Uh, because then you are, in, you, are, you are implanting the act of beating a woman. That in beating a woman is a possibility. Is a possibility. But then again, we can't be naive. and Because and, if we don't teach them something, then they say we, my, my dad we, never told can me. Can we acknowledge that? Can we acknowledge that kids are, f- especially boys, smart we are American. quite physical. So we do know what beating is. Yeah. Man, kids and that it's wrong. And that, yeah. and that it hurts people. So we do adapt like that whole, especially because bully mentality, especially if you're bigger, same age, Warawa warawa, and she's a little smaller, warawa, and all those type of things. So technically, right? gender based violence. Isn't something that starts at a young age besides when you see your father beating your mother. But in fact, I don't think that is the case because a lot of people that I know who came from abusive relationships in terms of their parents actually became better parents because that's not what they wanted for their kids. Then there's a lot of cases that are recorded of people who were raised by people who are beating um, their wives yeah. and became nah, that's not beating husbands. Mm-hmm. They, I disagree with they you. Learned, okay, okay. It's that's not a trigger, trigger, but I think it's a norm. They learned a norm. Because when you say it's a trigger, it means you, you're saying you can't help yourself, which is contradictory to what you said in No, the I'm saying that you must know what makes you angry, what will push you to that limit. But when, when you you should that, experience it. If you feel that with this right but now, I need to walk out, I need to. Mm. You understand? I need to still. Make decisions not to hurt another person. I don't think I don't think men Something won't get hurt by a woman. I don't think men won't get insulted by women. But it's how men manage their anger. Or maybe you've taken the necessary steps, Lux, where it, it's come to because you've spent a lot of time with yourself and all those type of things okay. and you, and worked hard on who you are. Your so influences God. Yeah. You, you you've basically around. learned what anger means to you and how to go about your anger. I'm talking about people who grew up and and lived a totally different life to that. Okay, let me give you this scenario. Now, imagine um, you get triggered by another man, mm-hmm. right? And you get angry. Yes. So, a point where you ah, want to fight. Nice. This is not easy. Okay. <laughs> but you're gonna enjoy it though. <laughs> the results are, they pay off. You're an island. <laughs> okay. And then you get triggered by another man. Mm-hmm. But this man is clearly more physically endowed than you. Mm. I bet there's no anger in the world that will make you want to go and beat him. Me? No. Another person, you don't know. Can I tell you something? I do agree with you. Because as I said, 
people people um, are ruled by emotion at that time. As much as the egg, they also I, 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 they assess. They assess the fear. Obviously, dude, we all okay. Not that I, we all I know. really think gender-based violence is based on the fact that it's they a beating someone who looks inferior. No, oh, and probably in terms of physical steps. Yes. My problem with that is that you they're not inferior per se, but I can say that. There's a physical I mean, advantage. I'm talking about physical inferiority, yeah, not yeah, inferior but, that you're yeah. a woman, you see. Those things are not a thing. Mara, you know, the fact that it says how strong. Shut up, yes. So, yeah, I think a man does look. I mean, that's why when you beat your kids, you know it's not like your kid will fight back. Sometimes mm. when you beat your kid out of out of anger, exactly. Out of anger, you beat them because you know that right? so I'm taking on it's anger. A bully it's a bully mentality. It's a bully mentality. Because the child looks up to you. Because I've seen niggas. Treat women completely different to in in terms of how they relate to women. And when it comes to a nigga with the same problem, they just like, hey, say, bro, yeah, they talk nice. They talk nice. To a woman, they out here shouting. They beat. You beat a woman, but to your homie or another guy who you know that hair will clash. You mm. gotta talk to him properly. So there's a bit of cowardness Thank involved. You. As I'm South Africans are, are doing are doing quite great. Who's the woman on, on How to Get Away with Murder? The main character. Her real name. Man. You guys know I'll put a picture. I also, I also know her. Viola Davis. Viola Davis! Yes! 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 Viola Davis, mm-hmm. and we've got Bonham Zamombata who are currently in the US doing film projects. I mean, we saw the movie that came out coming back to America. Yes. You understand what that I'm was trying good. to say? That was that was quite amazing. And, and it wasn't a silly role; it was proper, proper main. It was good stuff. It was really good stuff. Uh, People were saying, why does she have an African accent when she has an African accent? I mean, she is African. Yeah, so but you, you don't know what's on that. So, so, no, no, you um, must stop that. <laughs> Guys, yeah. that thing is based on uh, fictitious. Is it fictitious or fictitious? Let me leave that one totally alone. But even with Black Panther, Mm-hmm. Trevor Noah Nye also put on an accent because it's about the f- fictional place. Guys, if I'm getting this words wrong, forgive me, you know what I'm saying? Mm. It's about the fictional place, no, not about the fact that you was African. Trevor Noah in, in Black Panther? Yes, he was. was of... He was the voice of the pipe, the, the... System rebooting in five, four, three, two, one. System rebooting. But like... South African, I think I really feel good on the talent side of South Africa, despite the the politics of South Africa. You, yeah, okay, politics. That twice. side. Yo, damn it. We'll address it another day. Now we're happy. But hey, um, um, yeah, when the dishes are dirty, the people are yeah, happy. happy. So basically, it's that situation of like, I'm I'm looking forward to. It, it motivates me to produce more content. Mm. It motivates me to try and see how far can, cause like it really feels like the world is watching. Because of these people who are doing, who are working hard where they are right now, it really feels like the world has got an eye on South Africa, and it could happen to anybody, which is good. So pursue your dreams, folks. Pursue your dreams. I don't know why. I was at work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure someone's going to come here. Lots is just chowing. <laughs> ah, that was me earlier on. Yeah, yeah. hopefully we look good eating. Like, I wish we watched this video before. <laughs> yeah. As it's edited, it's going to be out. Yeah. yeah. As you guys can see, we've, we've actually done some work here. Yeah. Uh, so, we also, I just want to add to Mfunda's wonderful speech. It was beautiful. <laughs> So guys, Vela, the, the floodgates are open. Opportunities are opening. Alright? So go and fetch your dreams. There is no excuse anymore now. And you know what? Unfortunately, it's all about money, is it not? Especially when it comes to this whole success. What, the end point? No, the whole success, the interpretation of success. It's, it's, I really hope you don't, you don't measure your life. As a man especially. Let's talk to men right now. Don't measure your life with the amount of money you make. 
and it's a yeah, problem. Yeah. Don't and do it. We are measured according to <laughs> who's measuring your female friends? <laughs> Make money, but don't measure, but yourself. Don't measure yourself via Even money. if you are measured. Even if you are measured. All right, now, now because I'm now we've got our own beauty standards, but you know, certain people don't fall in that, but they don't bring themselves down. I mm. hope I hope y'all don't bring yourselves down because someone else is not attracted to you. Yeah, guys, why? Shit, don't allow that. That shit sounds depressing. Don't, don't allow that. <laughs> <laughs> See what happens when once we're full. Yeah. <laughs> Motivation. We're happy. Yeah. We're happy. Yeah. We are content. We, we are content people. people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Our love's a little bit. They've got some volume. <laughs> <laughs> Essence. <laughs> <laughs> I've had a lot of fun sitting uh, here. Thank uh, you very much. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, yeah, we tried to I make you enjoy. It. You see what we did the conversation? <clears throat> we left a little bit of chips and stuff. We want to show that also us, we are up, up here. Me, me. When I was growing up, I was taught to finish my food. Finish your food. I agree with telling them that that's what you're doing. Are you going against what you were taught? Finish. You decided to talk. Finish. Bye bye. Bye bye.